Yes guys and welcome back to another formation video on the channel today I'm going to just to you the 4 triple 2 formation guys that's right a very very well used meta formation in FIFA 21 and the reason why the 4 triple 2 is so so good is because every single player complements one another the only formation in the game which does so guys so you have two centre halves again complementing each other Fullbacks have each other as well. CDMs both through the middle. Your cams again, both similar to the CDMs but slightly more wider. And strikers, of course, we do have a duo partnership up front, guys. So let's into the tactics now. Again, these are post patch pro player top 100 tactics. So our defensive style will be on balance, and our width and depth will both be on six and six. Now, if your width and depth, you definitely do not want to go below four and four, guys, because the whole point in the formation is it's quite attacking. You do want to have the ball more than the opposition. You do want to score more goals and you do want to dominate the game. So that is why we use our width and depth on 6 and 6. It also creates a manual offside trap. With our offensive style, now the fast build up offensive style does suit the formation absolutely perfectly, guys. Because if your CDM does pick up that ball from your defence, again, every single one another or player complements each other so our cdm can then pass it through to our other cdm sideways our cams through the middle or up top and our strikers that long ball over the top to our strikers or through ball through the middle with our attacking width we will be on five guys and i'll quickly show you now why this is let me show you now with a full analysis so our strikers here are very well positioned guys and not as wide as our cams so having our attacking width on five basically means our cams are positioned perfectly guys if we go to four then our cams are going to push in here which means the cams there's no attacking wide players there's going to be no one to whip that ball into the box so that is why we have our attacking width on five guys the cams again are position uh, positionally perfect so Moving on to our players in the box, we will be on five as well, guys. We do want our cams in there. We do want our strikers in there. Sometimes even one of our CDMs in there, but not both, guys, because if we do commit both our CDMs in there, then we're going to leave a massive, massive gaping hole in that midfield in which they can utilize on the counter-attack. Similar to our corners and free kicks being on two, again, we know how difficult it is to score a header or a volley from a set piece in FIFA 21. Why commit men forwards unless you're using a formation um, where you're basically committing every single man forward, including your centre halves, in the last 10 minutes? There's no point having more than two and two on your corners and free kicks with the likes of Mbappe and Neymar up front. It's simply not worth it. So, like I said, the guys, the four triple two formation. If you do want to support me, please make sure you consider subscribing. You don't have to. It'll just be greatly appreciated. So let's get into the instructions now. So our strikers to start off with will be on stay central, stay forward and get in behind guys. Both our strikers will be on this. With our left cams and right cams we will be on getting to box across. I'll show you an analysis why our cams and strikers will be on these instructions. So like I said guys our strikers being on the stay central and getting behind is perfect because if any of these CDMs or cams get the ball our strikers are instantly going to be running in behind their defence. Not only are they going to be running in behind, creating opportunities, they're also going to spread the line of their defenders, which will open up gaps for your cams running behind through, and it works absolutely perfectly, guys. So, stay central, so they're always up there, and stay forward, so again, so they're always up there when you need them, and get in behind to make your life 10 times easier, and get a deadly one-on-one -on -one situation. Moving on to our CDMs now, guys, with every single formation I do use, stay central, stay forward, or no, cut past the lanes, cover center, and stay back while attacking on my CDMs because it's so, so meta, guys. I can really not um, explain it enough, guys. Your CDMs will sit just a bit in front. Actually, let me show you an analysis of what this is. So, our CDMs here will sit just a little bit in front of our center halves. They're basically more attacking center halves, if that makes sense. Meaning, if their player here in the midfield is trying to play a ball through to your striker, this cam will instantly cover that pass. He's basically going to be the one tracking that pass, cutting that pass in the lane, covering the centre, um, because our cams are there to do so in the wide areas, dropping in and there's a left mid and a right mid, turning into basically a 4-4-2 defend in defence, guys. So, your CDMs on stable while attacking, cover centre, and I believe it is cut pass in lanes, it's absolutely perfect. With our centre-halves, we will be on default default, 
and fullbacks. Now, the fullbacks are interesting, guys. I'll show you two possibilities of what you can do on your fullbacks. Of course, what I recommend is stay back while attacking because it's so much less risky, guys. You're not going to open up gaps in behind your defence. You're not going to struggle in the defensive line as much as you would with the balanced attack, guys. And I'll show you why now. So having your CD or your left backs and right backs on these stay back while attacking means they're mainly going to stay in this defensive area. They're not going to go above this line I've just drawn here. They're basically going to stay back and close off them gaps. Whereas if you do use balanced attack, they're going to get up and down the pitch. Now that may seem very, very useful, but when you are in that game, guys, it is crucial that your fullbacks are not out of position, especially when they have wingers running in behind. Of course, you can also in the game use your D-pad to control your players. And if you want your fullbacks to join the attack, simply do that manually on the D-pad, guys. So what I recommend doing in your attacking runs on your fullbacks is stay back while attacking. With our centre backs, we will be on default. Default. Last but not least, our goalkeeper. Now the goalkeeper is the most important position on the pitch for me. Um, come to crosses and sweeper keeper is the way to go. He is going to control that six yard box. He's going to control that penalty box, guys. So if they have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, he is going to be like a prime Manuel Neuer coming out sweeper keeper style and saving that one-on-one, -on -one, closing off all the angles, guys. So he's going to save you goals and he is going to save you games with these instructions. So guys, that is going to be the 4 triple two formation. Again, if you do want to support me, you really do not have to. Um, all you have to do is subscribe, especially if you did find the video useful. Anyway guys, apart from that, have a great week, have a great day, and goodbye.